Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, do a video and show you the difference between what uh, resonance looks like and what it looks like when it's not in resonance. So right now I have the cell set up with uh, no tuning, um, just straight uh, pulsed power and I'm going to be putting through half an amp and you can see what it looks like. I'll let it run for a bit so here we go. So this is exactly 0 0.51, 0 0.52 uh, coming out of the battery charger and going into the PWM um, coming out of the PWM and going into the cell itself it's reading a couple milliamps less at 0 0.50 and I'll back off in a minute and show you that but I just wanted to show you the the difference you can see the production yeah, it looks you know okay but it's not filling up the uh, container by any stretch of the imagination and uh, when I back off you'll see that both meters are reading approximately the same values with a slight loss with which makes sense because it takes two milliamps or so to run the PWM um, so yeah I'll just uh, back off and show you that now So there's the reading on the meter that's actually going into the cell. And it's at about uh, almost half an amp. And the meter that's coming from the battery charger which is right here. The battery charger is going into that meter then going into the PWM and the PWM is coming out uh, through a MOSFET and going into the cell and again that's the production that you can see there so I'm going to do the exact same video Hopefully do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see this. But again, so this is what half, half an amp looks like just when it's not in resonance. I'm trying to show you the importance of resonance and the difference it makes. So again, basically, generally speaking, power going in equals power going out, uh, plus or minus some losses. Man that's the result of it alright guys so I got it set up again getting ready to turn it on I should be at about half an amp and let's have a look at the production, get it focused. Hopefully. All right, let's turn it on. So immediately you can hear the resonant rod and that is at half an amp going into the PWM so we are consuming half an amp you can see that's quite quite a difference
right? So we're using about half an amp. And the hydrogen is really coming out of that thing. Quite the difference. And the container is filling up uh, quite a bit with the hydrogen. And we're reading about 2, 2.19, 2 2.2 amps going into the cell. So, again, here's the setup. It's pretty much the same. We are going from the battery charger going into the meter which is going into the PWM the PWM is going into the resonant rod the rod is going into the meter and the meter is going into the cell So yeah, I'd say there's a significant difference in production. I don't think the meter's lying. It does look about four or five times the amount of hydrogen that it would normally produce under normal um, um, electrical standards. Um, so this is resonance. you guys are looking to increase your hydrogen production this is definitely how to do it um, you're using the same amount of energy but getting uh, quadruple the results Trying to get a better view of the uh, production here at Resonance so it can be more of a direct comparison, but uh, let's have a look at it.